war and international solidarity movements for decades. They also all organized against the 2008 RNC in St. Paul, Minnesota, in a, pro a protest that saw tens of thousands of protesters. Many of the 23 have spoken out against the U.S. government's involvement and oppression in places like Palestine and Colombia. As targets of political repression, the Department of Justice is using grand juries to silence activists. The Supreme Court decision Holder v. Humanitarian Law allows for the government to construe freedom of speech with material support for terrorism. Now for all those who speak out just like the 23, you can be put in jail for terrorism. We are here to say no to the witch hunt and no to the repression of activists. We gather in front of the Sam Gibbons Courthouse, which housed the show trial of Sammy Alarian six years ago today. Like the 23 and other activists, Sammy Alarian spoke out against the oppression and injustices in Palestine. Since then, the government has spied on Arabs and Muslims across the country, hundreds of, of which are facing prosecution. For the 23, they are still being threatened to this day. The government continues to repress those who speak out, whether it's the anti-NATO protesters in Chicago, those recently raided in Seattle, or the nationwide campaign against the Occupy movement. Together, people across the country today say no more to the FBI repression and leave activists alone. So now we're going to hear from Marisol Marquez with the Tampa Committee to Stop FBI. 